I'm Jason Williams, and I write for a blog called The Sidetrack. I've been a political activist here in Utah for nearly a decade. We had a, a state senator here um, a few years ago involved in, in some scandals. It was something that should have never flown under the radar in the first place, and just the fact that that was possible, uh, that sort of opened my eyes and made me realize we've got a problem here. It was in inspiring in a way, actually, to, to make change. And soon after that, we saw a lot of push uh, from several organizations to uh, redraft our ethics laws here in Utah, make them a little stronger, give them some teeth. Information, I think, is the most important thing uh, that a voter can have. And so many times you see information, not intentionally hidden, but just not get out. Uh, what I've found here in Utah is if people are paying attention asking questions, the answers are given. If they're not asking the questions, sometimes it just never comes up. I host a radio show, uh, KVNU's For the People is the name of the program and uh, it's a political talk show on AM and FM radio. Uh, the, uh, House Bill 477 and, and the pushback to, to making any changes to our open records law here in Utah literally consumed a two hour afternoon program for over a week. Every day for, for over a week there would be a caller that was just infuriated by what was happening. Uh, we had the, the sponsors of the legislation actually called us to make their argument on their own. Uh, and so it was a great place to have a discussion uh, for, for organizers like myself and activists throughout the state, it was very educational to see that this is something people really care about. Through the use of social media, Twitter and Facebook, uh, left and right in one of the reddest, most conservative states in the nation, with one of the most complacent electorates, we have the very low voter turnout in this state, everyone came together and, and in something I've never seen before in Utah. Uh, just stood up against this bill. These events were very spontaneous and organically organized and, and my role, I, I tried to make sure that everyone was as connected as possible and, and that information was getting out. Through, through very simple outlets like an afternoon radio show or a blog that anyone can set up, you can really make a lot of change and, and that's been, to me, something that's unbelievable every time it happens. Every time I post something to a blog uh, nationally or here in Utah or every time I say something on the radio program and then I actually talk to a lawmaker who's had their mind changed by that or who has been caused to think by something I've said or written it's really humbling but at the same time it's very inspiring and and it, it, I think there's a huge opportunity to play that role by anyone.